Databricks has launched Databricks One, a brand new interface designed for business users to access data, AI, and analytics effortlessly. It simplifies dashboards, reports, and AI-powered insights so everyone in an organization, from analytics to decision maker, can explore data without writing any code. Hey, hi. I'm Naval Yemil. Welcome back to my channel, Data Master. In this video, I'll give you a hands on introduction to Databricks One, shows you how it works and why it is a game changer for business users. So, first, we'll see what Databricks One is. So, Databricks One is a user friendly interface built on top of your Databricks Lakehouse platform. Here's what you can do with Databricks One. You can access dashboards and reports with the interactive filters and visualization. You can ask questions in a simple natural language using a AI BI Jenny feature. You can launch and use the Databricks apps, custom apps built on data and AI workflows without writing any code and all while maintaining security and governance through Unity Catalog. So let me quickly jump on to the UI of Databricks One. So your UI looks something like this, where you can just ask a question based on your data set. It can be on your dashboard, your Gini space, or your AI apps, or data and AI apps. So Already many enterprises, many companies are relying on the Databricks one. And these are the features just now I have mentioned it. So let me jump on to a Databricks free edition. You can see that Databricks one in free edition also in your enterprise account also. So you can just click on these dots here and you should see two tabs here. One is on the lake house and second is for the business users that is Databricks one. So I'll just click on this Databricks one where you get a business insights from your data and AI. Just click on it. It will redirect you to the new UI. Yeah, this is a new simplified UI for all the business users. So I have already created few dashboards and Gini spaces. I can ask any question from here. For example, I have one Gini space here based on a YouTube e-commerce data set. I'll show you in couple of minutes you can simply ask a question based on that so you can see i have a youtube ecom jenny space i can just click on it it will take me to that jenny space so you don't need to understand what are databricks clusters what are databricks notebooks you don't need to log into that uh, lake house platform very simple just databricks one as a business user you can ask any question to this and it will try answering it and all you need is just a serverless SQL compute and nothing else. Serverless SQL warehouse and nothing else. So my compute is up and running now. So I can just ask a simple question like, hey, can you please explain me about this data set? Can you give me a short summary? So your Gini space is actually thinking and it gives you the answer in a, yeah, you can see there are three tables in it, sales, products and the customer. The sales table contains these all fields, whereas your product table contains these and so on. And it also shows you that there is a relationship between the sales table and the product table and the customer table. It also figures out that. And there are some suggestion questions here. So let me pick one of this question or you can simply ask the question. If you know about your business, you can simply go and ask any question here. So what are the total sales amount by product category? So your Jenny is very smart here. It's going to think and it's going to generate a SQL query and it also runs that SQL query to give you the output. Sometimes even it creates a beautiful charts as well. Wow. Can you see that? So it has with a simple English, plain English, it generated a SQL query. You can click on this show code to understand what exactly it has done. So it has used a grouping based on the category and it has aggregated based on the sales amount amazing on top of this it also calculated a result and you got your 
chart as well you can download this chart if you want you can change this visual edit this visual and so on so this is how we can interact to your data so just think like a business user or a stakeholder who don't need to log into the databricks ui or a lakehouse platform every time he'll just use a databricks one databricks one to get the insights from their data so he can access genie spaces the one which i have shown you or he can also access the dashboard so i i've also created a dashboard let me just click on to this dashboard and i'll show you as a business user i will just have an access to the dashboard also so i've just created a sample dashboard as an e-com dashboard this is sales by region this is customer age group distribution and so on so this is a dashboard look and if you have any application made any front-end app maybe for your data or your ai even you can access it from this databricks one so you don't need to log into the lakehouse platform where we find a technological person will find the compute you have notebooks you have a couple of things there but databricks one is completely for the business user you can ask a simple question and it can access your Jenny spaces your dashboards and the apps behind the scene databricks one integrates with unity catalog this ensures row level security column masking and governance policies are applied automatically keeping your data safe so to summarize databricks one is a powerful way to make your data and ai accessible interactive and visualized for your business users if you found this video helpful please like subscribe and hit the notification bell icon also drop a comment below if you are if you would like me to cover new topics or new features of the databricks in future videos i would love reading your suggestions thank you once again see you in the next video guys